all right so sneak peek number two is here for the january update and out of nowhere a tier three miles morales is coming six months earlier than i expected however i think i understand a little bit of what they might be planning so let's jump into the sneak peek and we'll talk some more Alright, so there you have it. And if you take a look at the very beginning of the trailer here, as we're climbing the building, if you will, you can see off to the left hand side here, there is a tier three indicated, letting us know that Maz Morales is going to be getting a tier three in this update. Now, some of you guys may be wondering why the heck would Netmar would do this when we are six months away from the release of Into the Spider-Verse 2. The only thing that comes to mind is they plan to do something similar to what they did with Black Widow, where they released the uniform for her first, and then a couple months later, they came back and gave her her tier four upgrade. So it looks like Miles Morales may be the very first character to get tier three and tier four in the exact same year, only six months apart. Now, I'm not saying that this is a guaranteed thing to happen, but if we were going to get something for Miles Morales for Into the Spider-Verse 2, this is the only thing that makes sense because if they drop a uniform for the guy now and then drop another uniform in June, people are going to be pissed because that means the uniform only have a shelf life of about five months because the movie is scheduled to be released on the second which is a friday and the updates generally happen on a wednesday which would be the seventh which means the uniform that we're getting right now would only have a shelf life of about five months and honestly five months is way too soon for a uniform to be getting replaced in my opinion especially since they're not really increasing the ways in which you can earn crystals nobody wants to have to spend two thousand crystals on two different uniforms one of which will probably no longer be relevant after only five months so my guess is we're gonna get a new uniform for miles morales now and then they're probably not gonna do anything for him specifically for into the spider verse 2 maybe they'll do something for gwen and other spider related characters but it would be really strange for them to do nothing for him since he's the focal point of the into the spider verse movie so my guess is they're probably going to give him tier 3 now and then give him tier 4 later and just skip over giving him a uniform now over on the forums this is what cm fragment had to say this spirited superhero has embraced the responsibility of being spider-man and then they put him as junior and down here we get some bad news really tragic news actually check out the new powers of this web-headed superhero well i just added the rest but well, you get it right we will announce more information through the update details thank you essentially meaning for this january update <laughs> we're only getting two sneak peeks for the main update which is insane this is the smallest number of sneak peeks we've ever seen in the history of marvel future fire once upon a time we were like guaranteed to get five days worth of sneak peeks then they started doing three and then they split it up and do two more later sometimes we get seven split up across maybe six or seven weeks now they're starting off with two sneak peeks granted the two sneak peeks cover a tier four shadow shell with a uniform war tiger with a uniform and now a tier three for maz morales however i was hoping for a bit more the patch details gotta be juicy okay because there's no way this is gonna be enough content to satisfy people and this would be such a lackluster way to start off 2023 one thing that really shocked me about the sneak peek here for maz morales is the amount of people who actually dislike this thing 35 doesn't seem like a lot but the fact that it's getting ratioed is kind of crazy because i would have thought that maz morales has a decent fan base but i guess people are just really really upset about not getting shuri with a black panther uniform no okoye no transcendent skill for Mbaku, no tier 4 black panther so pretty much anything that gets released that's not those things is just gonna get like a negative reception 
but you're still hoping that Maz Morales is actually good. Not gonna lie, I'm happy to see something from Maz Morales. I thought he should have gotten tier three when he got his last uniform, but I figured they were waiting for Into the Spider-Verse 2. So him getting a uniform in a tier three five months earlier than expected is actually not too bad for me. It means I get to build him ahead of time. Hopefully his tier three actually does a lot for him because there's realistically not much four tier three characters in the game right now with the implementation of tier four characters realistically and especially when you consider the fact that he's probably going to return back to being a speed character there's almost no pvp value for a speed character right now if spider-man can't keep up with the meta characters well you know what miles morales might be able to do it if they actually, <laughs> if they actually give this guy a lot of damage reduction and make him similar to Spider-Man in terms of turning invisible and stuff, that might actually give him a fighting chance because of the fact that natively he has this 120% extra damage to supervillain. And right now, if you look at timeline battle, it's overrun with supervillains. So they could actually make a tier three character in Maz Morales and make him strong enough to dominate PvP. However, I don't know if he's gonna have the survivability. That's gonna be the issue. Because if he returns to being a speed type, which is what he natively is, he's gonna have to deal with Hulk and Carnage. And Carnage with this undead artifact is a nightmare, especially when you build him for PvP with a egg or a regen or an authority. He's almost impossible to kill. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what kind of dynamic they decide to go with. However, with the uh, uniform here, you'll actually be able to take him into World Boss Legend and use him to buff your Carnage. 70% extra attack and 20% extra damage reduction is pretty cool. I wonder what his new leadership is gonna be because before this, it was not very good. However, it is gonna be really interesting to see what they decide to do for Maz this time around because this uniform right here, which was my favorite uniform for him, I absolutely love his playstyle. Honestly, the absolute carnage uniform, I like the playstyle on this one too, but I just really like the Into the Spider-Verse one a little bit more, but it had no survivability at all in there, no healing, nothing. Even though the healing on this one requires you to be really low on HP, at least this one had healing and it was every six seconds, which isn't too bad. Personally, this time around, I definitely think they should um, make it so that he has a skill that he can trigger, like most characters these days, to give himself a heal. But if they wanted to keep the current passive from his absolute carnage uniform, where he heals himself when he gets below 50% HP as well, that would be cool to have multiple heals. One thing I'd like to see from Miles Morales that we've never seen from any character that has this 120% extra damage dealt to heroes or villains is actually damage accumulation. There's what, I believe three characters in the game that has a similar passive to this one, but none of them have ever gotten damage accumulation. I'd really like to see what that looks like. Like Ghost Rider, he has that 120% extra damage and that's really good. But Ghost Rider does not have damage accumulation. And it's the same thing for Red Skull. I wonder if they're doing this deliberately because with damage accumulation and that 120% damage buff, would they just be too strong? That's one thing I'd like to really see put to the test, okay? And I think if they gave him damage accumulation with some damage reduction, a couple cancelable skills because currently none of his skills can be canceled, he might actually stand a chance in timeline battle, even as a speed character, but it's kind of iffy because speed characters usually have low base stats, low defense, low HP, low physical attack, but physical attack isn't really an issue if you have like the 120% extra damage the villains plus damage accumulation on top right it's really just going to come down to his survivability and the reason why i'm stressing the pvp side of things is because we already have so many really strong tier 4 characters for pve content most people aren't going to go out of their way to use miles morales unless he's as strong as kamala khan and he could be if he gets damage accumulation and gets to keep the 120 percent extra damage to super villains anyways guys we're gonna wrap the video up right here you leave me your thoughts in the comment section how you feeling about this most recent sneak peek and the fact that we're only getting two and we're just gonna be left out here in limbo wondering is this going to be a content driven update 
or just like these three uniforms and then we're sitting in limbo waiting for two weeks to see what else they plug because i was fully expecting something for luna snow but they want to start us out bro they want us to sit with black widow they're trying to get as many people as possible to tier for her before they release another speed tier four isn't that crazy bro like they're really trying to start about all of you guys who are sitting back waiting to see tier four luna snow i swear everybody that i talk to that don't have tier four black with it like i'm waiting on i'm waiting on luna snow i'm waiting on luna snow I'm, and then mom was like oh you waiting all right keep waiting <laughs> what would you guys do if by the time that we get to tier four luna snow there's already like 20 of each of the other tier fours like 20 universal 20 combat 20 blasts and then there's still only one black widow <laughs> Yo, I'm laughing, but it's actually kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. I would like to see more diversity with the tier fours, but I can't really control what these people do, right? 